Welcome to Singularity of the Day. This episode is going to focus on our SOLIDWORKS PDM and SOLIDWORKS simulation discussion. In the previous video we talked about how to handle SOLIDWORKS simulation result files with workgroup PDM. Now we're going to address SOLIDWORKS Enterprise PDM. Now Enterprise PDM is much more integrated into Windows Explorer. So what does that mean? Well, with simulation result files, if we want to include those files on check-in, include the simulation result files in the vault, we need to make sure those result files are stored in our vault view, and that, on that uh, local view of your vault. So we can help out here by going into your default options and making sure your result folder is at the same location as the SOLIDWORKS file in question. So in one option here I like to do is enable under subfolder so as it expands the CWR and creates these other files. Um, they're all contained in a subfolder there. But keep in mind if you do have the second option checked uh, like we discussed in a previous video, if that location is outside the vault, now those files are not going to be checked into Enterprise PDM. Again, we want these CWR files stored in that vault view. So keep that in mind. Uh, so that when the simulation result files are created, they are created inside the vault. So taking a look at your existing properties here, right? This is how you can verify where those result files are stored. Indeed, in this case, I can see that it is located in my PDM vault. So that is good. So what happens here when we go to check in the file in our check in window, automatically with Enterprise PDM, it's recognized and that reference is created. So we can continue from here, share those result files with anyone else on our team if necessary. So again, hopefully this helps you understand how to utilize SOLIDWORKS PDM, both workgroup and enterprise, with your SOLIDWORKS simulation result files. Have a great day.